I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Sam Spring, the President and CEO of Kinkora Copper. Sam, how are you today? Really good. Thank you for having us on, Shay. Oh, thrilled to have you on. Uh, I'd love to hear a little bit more about today's announcement. I believe you've sent some rigs up to site. Talk me through it. No, you're right. Um, we've got a maiden drilling program at the Condumble Project, which is um, really being led by our Exploration Alliance partner, Earth AI. Um, Earth AI have been working over a 12-month period or so, generating some new targets at the project and announced at that truth point of, of letting the drill, drill rig uh, loose. Now, tell me, you just mentioned Earth AI, so obviously that implies artificial intelligence. How have Earth AI generated these targets? What has it been based on? Yeah, and, and they've got a proprietary AI machine learning system that identified this project as a priority and uh, through their, I guess, process, they've generated a, a series of new targets, effectively bringing up a hypothesis, ground truthing that, feeding into the system, building their knowledge, refining their geological model, and that's identified um, a, a new zone in the central part of the Condumble project um, where there's a 2.2-kilometre geochem anomaly, copper anomaly, that's 800 metres wide, and it's got to the point now of, of looking to drill test that to understand the grade and the downhole extent of that system that's newly identified. This is really exciting. So how many uh, metres are you hoping to drill through this drill program? I guess it really depends on how the program kicks off. They've got three holes permitted for 600 metres each. Um, so an 1800 metre program planned at this stage, looking to test about a 750 metre strike within that 2.2k zone. Um, there's a hydrothermal breccia that's been identified that's open 1.8 kilometres long and this drill program's really looking to try and understand the extent and the metal endowment within that. There's some, been some encouraging soil and rock chip samples up to 5% copper um, so it's really going to be a, a first test of what the downhole potential of this system is. I'm not going to let you go for any further forward without you confirming hydrothermal breccia. Now, I'm just going to take a stab at it, that you might have a geological background. So for everybody listening, what is a hydrothermal breccia? I guess without wanting to become too technical, what Earth AI have done through their field work is identify a certain zonation that I guess suggests a cooler and a hotter part of the system over that sort of 2.2 kilometre strike over an 800 metre width. Um, the hydrothermal breccia, we think, is the core driver of the high-grade high soil and rock chip anomalies that they've identified there. And we're looking to sort of test the plumbing of that system and see hopefully that there's some intrusions that might be driving that hydrothermal breccia. We know to the north and to the south that there are confirmed porphyries, but again, this is a new target zone that hasn't been drilled before. Uh, this all sounds terribly exciting. Uh, tell me, what news can we expect to come over the following weeks? Well, I guess the, the results from this and Earth AI, it's a success-based alliance where they only get something out of this. They're funding and generated these targets, but they only get something out of it if they make a new discovery, and that's a royalty. Um, so obviously the results of this program is something to watch out for. But I guess one thing that we have said to the market is we're looking to bring in new partners for a number of our big porphyry projects in New South Wales. And um, we're expecting in the, the course of the near term to finally announce some of those new partnerships and give some of these projects that we've got the metres that they deserve to really move the needle in terms of understanding their potential. Uh, Sam, this sounds terribly exciting and I actually love the combination of traditional geoscience meeting uh, AI. I look forward to the next update. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the opportunity.